So check this out, I got the right shirt on. It's actually Friday today. So, the last thing that you saw was some brackets that we didn't like. I've remade them and here's how. It's a while ago, I got a press given to me from uh, a friend and uh, he didn't want it anymore, he didn't need it and I had a use, like a, there was something I was doing on my truck and I needed a press like for like one day and he was like, just take it and keep it because I don't want it anymore. And I was like, all right, cool. And then it pretty much sat unused in my way. We had to move it to our new temporary house and I was like, I need to get rid of this thing. I discovered that you can convert a press into a press brake and that's exactly what I did. I bought a kit and I had a friend weld it up for me. Huge shout out to Andrew. Thank you so much for your welding chops. And um, that allowed me to bend much thicker plate than I could bend with my hammer and vise. And that allowed me to make these new brackets. I added a flange uh, right here on both of them. That will allow me to uh, secure a panel that will cover this whole face. You can't see what I'm pointing at. And it will come up here and it will support the countertop once everything's all assembled. So I've got a mounting point now for that. So that's um, part of the new revision. The main thing is that these are much beefier brackets and they don't flex. So I installed them and I discovered that the body of the van now flexes. So that was very frustrating because we had the same issue where the fridge was wobbling. But uh, Andrew had a fantastic idea that was much better than lighting the whole van on fire and burning the thing to the ground because I was very frustrated. And that was, hopefully you can see, Yeah, the idea to make this backer plate, which um, these bolts go through the bracket that's supporting the rear corner of the fridge. And these just go through the body and it gives it much more strength. Adding that backing plate was like an absolute game changer. The fridge is way more stable now. It still wobbles a little bit, but I haven't secured the uh, driver's side yet, which is what I'm about to do. But it's way less jiggle now than there was. And if I hold down this side by hand, it's like rock solid. The fridge is finally mounted, you guys. On the driver's side, I just uh, did some simple like uh, angle brackets. I'll show you. So we're bolted through this little foot on the refrigerator right here. It's got captive nuts in there. And then we're screwed into the wood floor with some, uh, some silicon bronze screws so they won't uh, rot out or cause the wood to rot out. I've got the fridge mounted so the next thing that I want to do is to get the inverter installed and working so that we can start using the fridge because there's no sense for it to be installed and not doing anything. This is a Xantrex Freedom X 3000 watt inverter and I want to mount it right here because it actually fills in this space. It will sit about flush with the top of the water tank and flush with this edge and basically fill in this whole pocket um, that would otherwise be kind of dead space because you don't want to put stuff that might move uh, on top of the batteries because you can start a fire, you know. Anyways, uh, there's a couple other things. There's a fuse for the inverter that's gotta go there and a um, AC to DC battery charger that we'll be able to use uh, so we can charge our batteries when we have access to shore power. So I think I can fit all that stuff in this space. And uh, I just wanna show you how I'm gonna do this. Um, I'm gonna make kind of like a, a plate that will sit on top of the batteries, but not directly, it'll be uh, spaced up above them uh, and so I have this template gauge that I'm using to get the contour of the wall so that I can transfer that to my pattern or not my pattern but I can transfer that 
onto this panel. And that'll save me a bunch of guessing and checking because I can just trace the actual shape of the van directly onto the piece and just cut it out and it should fit right in. So I've got to work on getting this wired to the batteries and getting the inverter also wired to the batteries. Uh, it's going to be some tight bends with heavy cage wire, so this should be fun. So here's what the final install looks like finished. Uh, we have the inverter on top of this plate that's pretty secure. It sits on our two batteries. The inverter will supply power to the fridge and the cooktop and a water filter that we're going to install. And then here we have a battery charger, which is also pretty sturdy built in. Um, and this will allow us to connect to shore power once we install the inlet to charge our batteries. So I don't know if you guys can tell, it's like a thousand degrees. Um, so that's pretty much it for this video. We're going to try to do some work as long as we can in the sun. I don't know if you can see Rob's like... I'm sweating, sweating out of my arms. Already. Look at his head. That's pretty crazy. So if you guys like the videos, um, let us know, leave a comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next week. Actually, first... If you're enjoying this heat wave, like this video. Oh, he's dripping. <laughs> the next video actually might be uh, Loki's life. Um, so we're working on that and hopefully we can get that to you before a week from now. Uh, he's really passed out under here trying to avoid the heat as well. Loki, say bye. We'll see you next time.